Hey there, YouTubers. This is Ricky McWicky back here. Uh, another new construction house. Uh, doing some floor prep. It's been a lot of debate here lately about uh, how to lay vinyl plank and why it has so many problems. So we're doing some floor prep. Here it is. Putting down a moisture barrier. And uh, that should help with a lot of the issues that we've been having. There's something people call hydrostatic pressure that um, I don't know if that's real or not, but uh, some companies charge thousands of dollars to basically just put paint on the floor. We do it for a couple hundred for some reason, but I don't know if it's necessary, but man, does it make the floor perfect. So, uh, I just did all this. It dries pretty quick. It's definitely still wet, but uh, now what I'm working with here, let's take a look. Oh, this is an Ardex product. There you are. Very bright blue in color. And uh, I can't say I've used many of them, but this is a great product. A lot of people put it on with a paint roller. But I like to use a flat putty knife uh, like you would use in drywall just to get the floor perfect. And ideally you want to come back with a second coat and I guess on the second coat you could use a paint roller. But, but man, when we go to lay vinyl plank tomorrow this will be perfect. And you don't have to worry about any problems with moisture and new concrete. You got a new, new build. You get a lot of moisture out of that concrete, sometimes for months. Ugh. But anywho, I'm going to try to set you up over here. Like I said, uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos. But we've been having a lot of problems with vinyl plank at different companies, all different new construction. Every once in a while you get vinyl plank cup up when it's obviously supposed to be a moisture proof product. But it's been having problems because of moisture. I'm just going to sit here, pour it out like so. You don't worry about getting it on you unless you're a wuss. Then you can wear some gloves. And I'm not going to sit here and work too fast. Feel free to like this video. That's that's something people say. I don't know what it why it matters, but uh, if you have any questions about this product or flooring in general, feel free to ask. If you ever buy a new house, 
and you see somebody doing this, well, somebody's going the extra mile. And if you get somebody sit there and tell you it's going to be a couple thousand dollars to waterproof your concrete, Go ahead and tell them to hit the road. And like I said, if you want perfection, you can always come back with a second coat and a paintbrush and a roller. Get a shot back. Throw up under the baseboard real good. But where we're working at, I think it's overkill because these houses are actually built really well. We're pretty high off the ground. what it looks like and that concrete absorbs that moisture so quick I can actually walk on this and not make a mess almost immediately after I, I put it on and you always want to plan out a good place to finish it <clears throat> you know I did the main area here I'm doing the office now Got a piece of carpet in the garage just in case I make a mess. <clears throat> There's my. You want to mix that up real good with a drill. And that's where I'll end that. But like I said, any questions, just, uh, just hit me up and uh, hopefully I'll have the time tomorrow to. I'll get my crew here and we'll show you how to lay the floor. But here in the morning, this will be 100% ready. And it'll turn out so nice. Thank you all.